What's going on everybody? Captain Chad, Buck Rogers Charters. So if you watched the last video that we did, when we ran to the ledge, we tried for tuna, we did some bottom fish. We got a gigantic amberjack on super small hook. So if you had not seen that video, go back to the previous YouTube video where we where we where it says uh, like 80 pound jack or something is the thumbnail. But check that out. We had a big yeah. massive well, mutton snapper that day too, blackfin tuna, um, oh, yeah. skipjack man. tuna, from trigger fish, yeah. vermilion yeah. snapper. And, uh, and at the end of the day, I had a brain fart. We were offshore. For some reason, we were doing a 12 hour trip and I had it in my mind that we needed to get back to the dock at six o'clock and we needed to get back to the dock at seven o'clock. So we left the ledge an hour and 15 minutes probably earlier than we should have because I had the brain fart on my time. So as we're getting about, uh, I don't know, 20 miles inside the break, I, it dawns on me that I'm super, I'm like an hour early. So I thought, crap. What am I going to do? So the ocean was super nice. Um, so I, I had some live bottom on a GPS nearby. Um, if you're wondering where I'm at, I'm in the console of the Cape Horn. Um, I'm doing some maintenance today down at the marina uh, because it's super windy. Uh, the wind's blowing probably 20 knots from the east. The seas are like six feet. It's nasty. Straight from the east, so there's no way to get out of it. So uh, I'm down at the marina doing maintenance. I was coming back in, got about 40 miles out, and I had some live bottom nearby. Still got another hour. Let's just do some trolling in here and see if we can find some near shore or closer in blackfin or uh, whatever we could find. Hopefully we can find a wahoo blackfin or something. So we put the limes out and got on an incredible king mackerel bite. Uh, the area was just super live. There was bait everywhere. There was dolphin around. When I say dolphin, I mean bottlenose dolphin, like flipper kind of dolphin, not, not a mahi dolphin. So we put the limes in, had a hellacious king micro by this brain fart actually led to success via trolling so take a look he's positive but he ain't on there there he is he is there he is all right okay. uh, right here. yeah he's on that one well, we had had two two strikes on the outriggers one pulled the hooks we think we got one on maybe we can at least get him up here to find out what they are they've been spitting the hooks boy like I don't know what. Well, at least that battle he was gone makes me feel better. Yeah, he's off. Tangle here. Yep, perfect. Hopefully, we'll catch on that spoon because I need a picture of the sponsor. Oh, they already bought that spoon. You gonna put it on the planer? Yeah. Fish on, fish on. You just put it out there? Yeah, he took it out of my hand. He come off already. Come on. I saw you got that weak swivel on there. Fish on right here. Wow. What you picking on there is talking about my friend. How do you make it easier to get Push it in, yep. Put it here in that rod hard if you need to. Man, he took it out of my hand on that one. Cut him in half like a scissors. Oh the uh, the uh, Magahoo? Magahoo ain't no joke, boy. Yeah, you gotta have extremely light drag. Son, they're going off over here. He's way out there, son. He's trying to jump. He thinks he's a largemouth up back there or a speckled trout. All right, which one of y'all gonna go off? That boy doing good, doing good. Boy, you go from zero to hero. Made a mistake on my part, turned into 
a crazy opportunity. We were headed back in from the ledge. I had my mind messed up on the time, pulled up off in the inshore from where we was at, put the lines in and had four strikes in about 10 minutes. Then I got two kingfish in the boat and uh, waiting for the next one. It gets fired. I get fired up when I hear that out, that outrigger pop and it was, shoo, yeah. That gets me going. I'm looking to figure out which one I, I know, it's great. Well, that right there looks deadly, boy. I love that lure. Find that school again. This is a big lead. Okay, here we go. Yeah, we're marking some fish, boy. Where's the strike? Oh, here we go. All kind of bait right there, boy. Yep. You want to talk about bait, boy. Mm. Time for a strike. Got some big boys out there. Look at all that bait. Woo. That just looks like a massive bait fish there. That's where we marked them initially when we came in here. So that's yep. that first pass. Oh, oh yeah. what oh is that? Oh my god, it's kingfish. Look, Look at that. that. Oh, that's where they're at. Oh my god. Holy hell, Batman. Guess where we're going now. That's I found the at. school. I found the school. <laughs> I seen something flashing and it took me a minute. They're skyrocketing. Dude, they're like Busting big. They're bait. big. Yeah. If you see him, you see him that far, they're big. Who's that dolphin? No, I don't that was think king so. Fish. I seen them skyrocketing. I think they're it was kings that too. That school of bait I seen flipping, they're they're skyrocketing on them. I've had them come and skyrocket on bait right behind the boat. So we lost we lost the school, we're trolling around. Right there, right there. Yeah, I saw it. So now we're just Buddy. driving around. Yeah, I saw the flash, and uh, we actually oh, saw. We actually saw the school of kingfish up here just breaking. They're just jumping out of the water. Looked like a feeding frenzy. So we're trying to get up there now to get the, get the baits over them. And Parvis is probably chasing the kingfish. This is pretty crazy. We just ran over a massive school of bait. Yep. Are they up there? He's on there though, he's shaking it left and right. Might be a little cooter. It might be, a, yeah, a dad or a bonita. I would love some bonita to take home the bake. Take home the what? The bake. Bake? bake. Bonita? Bake. Fish on! Get some cranes, get some cranes, get him tight. Set the hook. That would be easy with that one. That's got that treble hook thing on there. I think it came off. This is called a bonita, that's why. That's a little king, ain't it? Here we go, Rigger, 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 Rigger. Whoa, come on now. That was ripping it. Hang on, buddy, hang on. We're, gonna let, we're just going to let him go until he gets, until he gets tired. Right, That's a keeper. That might be a kingfish, though. Oh, it is a little kingfish. Yeah, it's a keeper, though. Howdy, hey, boy. I'm glad I remembered I was off, boy. We should have started in here. <laughs> Woo! Careful now. Let him run. My language. God. 
Yeah. Now he started pulling it like he should. Watch out, he'll sling these hooks in you. Reel up that uh, middle one right there that had the treble hooks on it. Yeah. There you go. Start pumping on it. I don't want to put you in late. Got a kingfish. Pull in Ooh. as much as you can. We're getting a little slack, tapping in a little more to keep him hooked. All right, go ahead. Look at there, boy. Yeah. He barely missed some treble hooks. How did he? The one was in the back. See of what I'm talking about? Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what I was saying. Well, except we had tail hanging from this piece on our. That thing was some of them. so hard. He literally oh, burned geez. my thumb off. Well, I know this one right here works too because I ate that one too. Yep. Yeah, but keep going. I'm going to be right there to assist you in just a second. Oh, he's good. He's doing it. Yeah, that thing right there got hit too. Big time. That's the one we just got the kingfish on. Oh, was that one? Okay. You've been hitting that big blue islander though. Where's your bait in that cooler? Yes, Make sure you keep it tight. If it gets loose, let me know. I'll speed up. I can't believe how it's still burning. Rookie. <laughs> it's probably going to happen a lot more. Yep. Yeah. No question. He's still on there? He's on there. Nice. Sweet boy, we had had an outrigger pop, an other outrigger pop. This one went off. We had four go off. When he hit that outrigger right there, boy, he started taking Going. walking the dog, boy. Yeah, he had that rod doubled over. He had that, he had that drag Good. screaming. It could be a who? Yeah. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, this one needs to go on this rod. All right, get your gaff. Get your gaff. He's here. Nice king or something. Yeah. Let me turn this to the left, to the right. There you go. Keep coming. Keep coming. All right, now grab the rod and walk backwards. Okay, grab the rod and walk backwards. Look at that, what a kingfish. Yeah! Nice. Give me some. That a boy. Hey, That's a nice job. fish right there. Woo! You wanna do it again? All right. Yeah. What line is all the way across? I just, turned, I just turned hard on that fish. The tail, just be careful with him. Yeah. Why wow, he's still got a color, they're a lot prettier now. We're gonna take a picture at the end of the day with all of them, too. Here you go, right here, we'll get the sun behind me. There you go, you got him. Nice. So, obviously, that little stop right there gave us more trolling action than we had the entire day while we was out there trying to get a blackfin tuna. So that turned out great. Uh, Josh and Joseph were amazing. They were super understanding. They love fishing. They love trolling. And uh, they got a lot of action there at the last minute. We came back happy campers. Everybody was satisfied. The ocean was gorgeous. Had a great ride in and uh, an end to a great day. But anyway, I appreciate you watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit the notification bell so that when we put a new video up, you get notified of it and can watch it. Uh, we appreciate everybody who watches the videos, and uh, we hope to be bringing you some more down the road. Uh, take care. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.